Neil Bush, the brother of Jeb Bush, uh, and the brother, obviously, President uh, George W. Bush, is now backing Ted Cruz. Uh, and that is a big development. Neil Bush uh, with me <laughs> right now. Um, Neil, why Senator Cruz? Well, it's become very clear to me, Neil, that, uh, that Ted is the only guy that can unify our party. And we have huge challenges facing our nation. Um, I was excited to see that Paul Ryan wants to lay out a, an aggressive, reform-minded agenda. And we need to send to Washington as our chief executive a president that is principled who is focused on, on uh, sticking to his principles of conservative leadership. And Ted's the only guy right now in the race that's left that has these strong, pr you know, principled conservative views that can lead the Congress and lead our nation through the era of reform that will continue our greatness and raise us to even, even greater levels as a country. So my wife and I have joined the Ted Cruz bandwagon, and uh, we're, we're happy to do so. We're fellow Texans with Ted and know that he'll be an effective president. He right. my did, first did, you di did you discuss this with uh, your brother, Jeb? I did not discuss with my brother, Jeb. He may be learning this for the first time watching your show, as a matter really? of fact. I, I'm, I'm an independent, yeah, <laughs> I'm an independent-minded guy. Um, I haven't talked to, to any of my family about this. They, they, I think they found out yesterday that I joined the Ted Cruz campaign, but they didn't know that I was going to be uh, heightening my my advocacy by being on your show but you know this country's at a critical turning point and you know what's interesting to me neil this is the time when normally the republican party would be unifying around a candidate and i and i i think it's pretty clear that there's only one candidate left in this race that's actually talking about ideas i just saw the the, the press conference slash you know celebration in in florida that, that mr trump did you know, some people say he's kind of narcissistic and bombastic. I'm not going to get into that, but you can judge for yourself. He talked about his food. He talked about everything but issues. And, and, I, and I think you it's really time should to be try really the sex, serious. Neil. You should try the sex. Right. I I mean, let me, try let the me ask you about that. I mean, a lot of people have been waiting to hear from your brother as to whether he would make an announcement or support anyone in Florida. Ted Cruz comes up. Marco Rubio comes up. Do you know? I know you didn't bounce this. You say, well, if your brother or anyone in the family. I don't. But do you know whether he is poised to do anything like that? I really don't know what he's thinking right now. I'm, I'm sure he's, you know, enjoying his private life. Um, my brother's never made a habit of calling me for political advice, so, so that probably doesn't surprise anybody out there. And, you know, he's a, he's a good man. I'll tell you, I'm, I'm so proud of the campaign he ran, though, because he stuck to issues. He ran with a servant's heart. Can you imagine? I mean, the President of the United <coughs> States is the most powerful position in the world. We are the greatest country. We're are the you surprised he of botched it, though, Neil? I mean, obviously, the emergence of Donald Trump changed things, but there was such surprise over your brother, you know, being rusty and maybe I would, that many years yeah. out to be governor. It, 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 that was it. I don't particularly like the use of the word botch. I just have a feeling, I just know it wasn't his time this year. And there are a lot of political dynamics around that. It doesn't change the fact that he was clearly the best qualified to well, take the reins happen. of the presidency. Well, it didn't happen. He's out of the race, to your point. You like Ted yes. Cruz. But if it were Donald yes. Trump who got the nomination deal, could now, you support him? Let me him? be clear. Let me be clear. I like Kasich and I like Rubio. Rubio's got a great future. But if but it were Donald Trump, Neil, if it were time, Donald usually, Trump, could a, you support just him? Just a second. Just say, let me finish my point. Sure. But at this time in the party's process, we normally consolidate. And when it becomes a two, by next Tuesday, only 60% of delegate, delegates would have been selected. And when it becomes a one-on-one -on -one race, Ted Cruz versus Donald Trump, there's no doubt in my mind that the Republican Party will send a devoted, <laughs> principled, courageous conservative. And, I, and I, it's not easy for me to jump on the bandwagon so strongly, but the, but, um, the, 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 the bottom bottom line is, you know, I don't want Hillary Clinton to be president when we have so many critical issues that need to be addressed. Right, no, that's fair enough. But Neil, I guess what I'm asking is the same thing all <laughs> Republicans have been asked. If you don't yeah. see it with your candidate, would you back Donald Trump if he is the nominee? I, I, I would have a very hard time backing Donald Trump. Here's the one thing I've learned from watching my brother, my father, <coughs> my other brother, Jeb, and serving as governor, Ronald Reagan. People are called to serve out of humility out of a sense of calling and, and they serve from a servant's heart um, and they and they and when you serve with humility 
you know, that's an important value of our country. And so, no, I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't support a guy who's, who's so got Donald Trump's So what would you do in that event, Neil? Would you sit out the election? Would you vote for Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders or who? <laughs> I definitely would not be for Bernie Sanders. I definitely will not be for Hillary Clinton. So you'd sit it out? I would, I'd, I'd, I'm afraid I'd sit it out. Really? Maybe a third party candidate runs out. I hope not. I mean, I, you know. Well, that would I, hand I could, it to a Democrat. All, that Donald would hand Trump, it to a Democrat. Huh? Here's, First of all, Donald Trump, I don't, I don't necessarily believe that. I don't think Donald Trump is going to get more than 40 percent, 35 percent of the vote anywhere he goes, whether he's a Republican or an independent, and someone with a larger plurality is going to beat him. And, um, and I think it's going well, to be Well, you might be right, but if he, were to win, if he were to win, Neil, next week in Ohio and in Florida, all he'd have to do oh, is get about 40 percent of the remaining delegates, and it's his nomination. And I think it's going to be, I think there is a pathway for a unified Republican Party to send the candidate of choice that win a one-on-one -on -one race, and it looks like the only guy to, that can do that is Ted Cruz, that that guy will win more than 60% of the votes. And I think your math is a little bit off. I think it's more like, you know, he would need 46% or 47% no, of the delegates. I've checked it and rechecked it. I took my socks off, used my toes, everything. <laughs> See that? And the funny thing, is, funny thing is a lot of the delegates haven't even been selected yet. No, so you're quite 